This is FIFA 14 Mobile, and just over 10 years ago, this masterpiece of a game was released. Not only did this game have the regular Ultimate Team, it also featured Manager Mode, Tournaments, Kickoff, and even a Penalty Shootout Mode. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, the nostalgia is real. This game was an absolute banger, a staple of my childhood, and arguably the best mobile football game ever made. So in this video, we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane and playing the game 10 years after its release and see if that title still holds. So right off the bat, when you launch the game and go to the play tab, you are greeted with the many game modes you can play. This is not something you typically see in a mobile game nowadays, which is why this game is so special. Like this right here is what I consider like peak mobile football games because this was just insane. It had everything. This game was just simple. It was easy to understand and it gives off that feeling of the classic video game. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you my ultimate team that I had back in the day because uh, they shut down the servers. So no ultimate team, no online games, no games of the week, so we're really only limited to manager mode, tournament, and penalty shootout, and I guess kickoff too. So let's dive into every single mode, starting with manager mode. Now, I'm not going to go too far into it because, you know, it does take a while and that's not going to take up my whole video, but we're going to explore manager mode, and obviously you can pick your team to be manager of. I always pick Barcelona because... I liked Messi. Liga BBVA, that's what it used to be called. And let's go to Barcelona and let's pick our team. I then picked my sponsor and loaded into the main manager mode screen. When I was younger, I didn't play very much of manager mode since my young stupid self probably could manage a team even if I tried. I think ultimate team was enough managing for me and that was my preferred game mode. But I do want to click on manage team because I want to see who was on Barcelona in FIFA 14. So we have Neymar at 86 overall, Messi at 91. Is that Alexis Sanchez? Oh my gosh. Obviously Iniesta, Busquets, and Javi, Jordi Alba, Mascherano, PK, Danny Alves, and Valdez as the keeper. Man, that's a legendary team. But that's it for manager mode. Let's step into tournament here. I did test this out to see if it would work, and it does. So let's just start a new one and see what type of tournaments we can get. There's a lot of tournaments we can play. Although it's kind of funny. This is FIFA 14, and I don't think they have World Cup which is a little sad. I guess they saved all their World Cup content for Ultimate Team, and I can't play that. So I decided to play the BPL instead. But we went through Barcelona, so let's click on Barraclay's Premier League, where I can pick my favorite team. And fun fact, my favorite team was not Manchester City in 2014. It became Manchester City in 2015. I had a lot of Manchester City players in my FIFA 15 team, and now that's how I became a Manchester City fan, if you can believe it. And let's see that beautiful old logo, too. Oh, there we go. So we got my man Joe Hart in Nets. We have Vincent Company. Zabletta was in this game. We got Jekko. We got Jesus Navas, Sergio Aguero, David Silva, who was my favorite player for a while. Fernandinho, Pantilimon. Oh, man. They got... A, oh, yeah, yeah, Torre. Oh, baby, this game is old. And honestly, there's probably a solid chance this game is older than one of you guys watching this. And now that that reality was set, I was ready to play my first game. Ooh, look at the ultimate team graphics in a loading screen. That's about all I could show you. But here we go. We Let's pass it over to our Manchester City teams. I don't know what difficulty this is. I don't know if you can set it, but uh, let's just play this. Uh, I think the controls are the same. Yeah, for some reason, my recording doesn't show you the buttons on the screen, but the main difference in controls is the absence of a through pass button. This button used to be a skill move sort of joystick where you can input a specific pattern and the player will execute the skill based on your input. It was pretty cool. Oh no, oh no, am I gonna, oh, I, I'm already down one goal. Dude, I thought if I just held sprint that they would defend, but uh, the first goal celebration you see from FIFA 14 is not my goal. Juan Mata, the legend himself. Okay, let's see Aguero. Okay, I could barely see the ball on this screen. All right, I think I am picking up the controls again. They're, they're not quite the same as the newer FIFA, which I can appreciate. Like, look, if you hold sprint, like, they'll, they'll, like, kick the ball super duper forward, and there's no, like, through pass or anything, but we can get a low cross intercepted. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we can't do a through pass, so we're just gonna pass regularly, and he's offside. Well, it's halftime. Uh, look at my boy David Silva over there, and, oh, Wayne Rooney, he's looking pretty good. If I can tell who they are, that means the graphics are good enough, right? But we're gonna need to score a goal in the second half because I can't let you guys down. I, I will say I did play this a lot, but I am way out of practice now, and I honestly don't even know what difficulty this is, but here we go. We have Aguero. The skill move is over here, so, ooh! Look at that! Look at that! Take the shot! Okay, I, I missed it. The, the shot button is very small. All right, Guerrero, let's pass it. Come on. Oh, nice little touch. Oh my gosh, this is impossible to play. All right, Guerrero, 
Oh, okay, that's an interesting skill. Let's try that one. I, I I don't remember which ones are the good ones. Why can't I just tap for a skill? You know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Bad difficulty. Bad difficulty. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot it in. No! De Gea, why? And that would be my one and only chance this entire game. I guess I truly am out of practice. I'm not sure if I like this game. <laughs> now, they say it's a tournament, but I'm pretty sure this is a whole Premier League season. So uh, I don't think I'm going to play the entire thing. But, uh, let's explore other modes. So I just realized I was on world-class difficulty level. Now, I don't know if this is for all game modes, but, uh, yeah. Maybe that's why I was having a hard time. I don't know, let's put it on beginner difficulty because I'm a widow baby. Anyway, let's get into a penalty shootout because I might actually be better at this. And, uh, I know exactly which two teams to pick. We're gonna do a little bit of an El Clasico penalty shootout. I am going to obviously pick Barcelona because that's the team I would have picked if I were playing this game back away in, in 2014. Gotta stay true to young no life Jeff here. Well, here we go. First penalty with Messi. Let's take it to the left. And boom. We hit on beginner difficulty, so I think we're okay. Then Ronaldo took his penalty, and of course I guessed the right way. But unfortunately for me, the AI also guessed the right way when I kicked with Neymar. Not Benzema. He looked that way, so he's gonna go that way. You know, Dream League soccer tactics. Ooh, let's do a little bit of a curl. That was always my, the most fun thing I could do, is just seeing a ball curl. Girl. And apparently in slow motion because I am using a 10 year old device. Ooh, it's Bale. He looked that way. Oh, Bale tricked me. Should we do a middle? Can we? How do we do a chip? Is that a chip? Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it is. But the goalkeeper wasn't fooled. Ooh, Di Maria, World Cup hero. Oh, no, he did a chip. Come on, we're going to score this one. We're going to score this one. Yes. All right, we're stopping Modric. He looked this way. Oh, no. Modric is too good. I'm starting to have a feeling that they always look that way, but let's just copy the exact same penalty as Modric because, um, yeah, it went in. We're going into sudden death if I can just, you know, save this, and okay, he wasn't going middle. All right, Busquets, let's put it in that bottom left with the curl, always good, and no. Am I seriously gonna lose on beginner difficulty? No! <laughs> the penalty skills transfer over games. Why? Yeah, all you Real Madrid fans are gonna be loving that. So the final mode to explore is kickoff, and I think I need some redemption. I lost the tournament game, lost the penalty shootout. I can't lose a kickoff game. And I am going to take the opportunity to play with old school Bayern Munich, because uh, this is not in Dream League Soccer. All right, let's just play against Toronto FC. I have a way better team. I am going to get my redemption here. Like we got Mandzukic, we got Ribery, we got Cruz, we got Schweini, we got Rob. We got Lom, we got Alaba, Dante, Boateng, Rafina, and Neuer. We got the whole squad. I mean, a lot of those players were on that winning World Cup team. So, I mean, they're bound to be good, right? But here we go. Mandzukic with the ball first. And I believe this is on beginner difficulty. So, yeah, this is clearly beginner difficulty. Let's score my first goal. Come on, Mandzukic. Let's go. All right. We got ourselves a one goal lead. World class is turned on. Let's see if we can still win. All right. We got Frank Ribery down the wing here. I know he's got five-star skills in the console game. I don't know about mobile. We, we should have just shot, I think. And unfortunately, that wouldn't be my only mistake. What? 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 Dude! Why did he just give it right to him? There was a guy I wanted to pass to. It is halftime. I am continuing to embarrass myself. Uh, playing this game, but uh, you know what? Maybe that's just how I was back in the day, but I don't care. We're winning. I have the better team. Let's pull it back here. All right. Oh my gosh. That why? What? Yo, world-class difficulty Toronto FC player pulling that off? Nah, I don't believe it. What the heck did I just witness? This guy just fired a rocket. Past Neuer of all people. I like this game better on beginner difficulty if I'm if I'm being honest. So there you have it. FIFA 14 Mobile 10 years later. This game will always hold a special place in my heart no matter the scores or the time playing. The graphics and gameplay were just next level for the time and the ability to basically have console FIFA on mobile just makes it so unique. This is the peak of mobile football games and I don't think we'll see anything come close anytime soon. Happy birthday FIFA 14 Mobile and thanks for watching.